Hey Vikes, it's almost spring break, and today's show, I'm going to see what you guys plan to do. I'm Aiden. And I'm Carson. And SVPD SVP starts now. now. I wouldn't ask some of you guys what you're going to be doing over spring break. So what are you going to be doing during spring break? Uh, I'm going to play Fortnite all night and sleep all day. So what are you two going to be doing over spring break? I'll be working on my house and going hunting. Working a lot, making good memories, going to haze, driving around, riding dirt bikes, whole nine yards. But um, over spring break, I'm just going to party, live it up, have fun, you know. Um, that's about it. I doubt that, Nikoi. Um, I'm going to uh, go skydiving. All right, what are you guys going to be doing over spring break? Um, we all have swim practice that whole week. Um, I'm going to be going shopping with Riley in Kansas City and like hanging out with friends the entire week. I'm going to Colorado. <laughs> to do what? Uh, it's for orchestra. <laughs> what do you two plan on doing during spring break? Um, I'm going shopping with my friend Sarah, and I'm going to hang out with friends, and I have soccer. I'm going to South Dakota, and I'm going to have soccer practice. What are you three gentlemen going to be doing over spring break? Well, I've got some uh, wrestling to do down there in so uh, that place. It's districts. They're going to do it. Uh, I'm going to wrestle, play some Fortnite with my cool headsets. from. It's a good headset. It, it's a quality brand. Yeah, I'm just going to full send it. Just do what I can to make sure I know what I'm doing. I'm going to play golf with my boy Coop, and now I'm going to play some football, and I'm going on a fishing trip. Looks like some people are going to be having fun over spring break. Don't forget to full, full send it their bikes. bikes. Looks like everyone has interesting plans over spring break. However, when students are off from school, they might attend parties and might drink. Here's a story about driving under the influence. Everyone knows that drunk driving is illegal and it can kill people. One of our Seaman students was affected by a drunk driver. Um, I was driving home from a KU basketball game and I was getting off the highway and as I went down the exit ramp, the guy drove up the exit ramp and hit me head on. For a few days, I couldn't do anything. Like I just had to lay down because I couldn't really physically move. It would take him a long time to heal anyway, I guess. So. I was able to start walking around and stuff once I was just not, didn't hurt as bad. Due to the accident, Jackson had to miss several basketball games. This accident has affected his life. So I was really mad about it for a long time, just because, well, obviously that guy did something that he wasn't supposed to and it affected me and didn't hurt him at all. Jackson was able to overcome his injuries. However, some DUI accident victims aren't as lucky. This is the case for Carrie Sunday. I was with some friends. I was a senior in high school and we were going to Lake Perry for a party. Um, we weren't really sure where the party was. We had never been there before and it was really dark. Some of our friends called me and said, the police are here, don't come. Um, there was a lot of alcohol at the party. And so we were like, okay, we're, we're not coming. Um, and then they called back pretty soon after that and they were stranded. The person that they had rode there with um, left them there and they were drunk. Um, so me and my friends, we, had, we were in the car and we went to get them. Um, and instead of just two of them being there, there were actually three of them. So we were in a uh, Chevy Blazer and there wasn't enough room for everybody um, in the back seat. So I climbed into the hatch part behind the back seat, so I was basically in the trunk, um, and they all piled in the back seat, and we were coming down uh, Ferguson Road uh, from the lake towards Highway 24, and um, at that time, there was no stop light. There was only a stop sign, um, and the girl that was driving, she didn't really know where she was going. It was really foggy, um, and she missed the stop sign, so we went into the intersection of Highway 24 and Ferguson Road, and we were T-boned by a car um, that was traveling towards Lawrence, and um, they were drunk, and we obviously had some drunk people in our car. Um, and this was right after midnight on 
April 27th of 2003. We threw my body so hard that the top of my head hit the roof of the car um, and battered my C6 vertebrae that pushed into my spinal cord, uh, which caused me to be paralyzed right away. Um, so the paramedics got me out, took me to the hospital. They figured out pretty quick that, you know, it was something with my spinal cord nervous system. Um, and then I was too unstable to do surgery right away, so it took them three days before they could do surgery. Uh, they took a part of my hip bone and put it in place of my C6 vertebrae. So now I have like a plate and some fancy screws in there. Thankfully, it didn't touch my spinal cord, but they had to put a halo on me so that I couldn't move my neck at all. Um, and I wore that for three months. So I, I was in the ICU for 21 days, and then they moved me to Colorado. Um, there's a specialized hospital there. And given that I was so young um, and the, the kind of injury that I had, they moved me there for rehab, and I was there until August. Mentally it was rough just because I was away from home, I was away from my friends, I missed graduation, um, I missed prom. Carrie was able to recover and was able to teach herself how to write and drive by adapting to her condition. She was able to live a normal life. I started a photography business that's been going for about five years. I got married in 2013 and then in 2014, we welcomed our little girl. She's almost four now. Drunk driving does not just hurt people. The driver can also get charged with a DUI. You lose your license for 30 days right from the get-go. Uh, you'll be charged with that DUI. The state will take your license. A possibility that you'll have to have an instrument, a breathalyzer in your vehicle before you can even start your vehicle. Your insurance will go up. That will affect you. Some insurance companies will drop you, so you got to look for another insurance company. Um, and the rates with that will be pretty expensive. Make sure you think about others before driving home drunk. It's, it's not a smart choice to let someone else be in control of your life. And it's not, um, it's not just their control, but they're worrying about themselves. They're not worrying about you, and it's your job to do what it takes to be safe. Don't drink and drive. Don't do stuff like that, that because more often than not, it's not you that gets hurt, it's the other person involved. Students, if you're going to drink, make sure to be careful. And don't drive. Juniors, make sure to see Mr. Alexander before spring break if you're interested in graduating early. Order your books on jostens.com before spring break. Prices will go up to $80 tomorrow. ACT practice reviews will start April 2nd. Pay $10 to the bank to attend the session. Today is the due date for the second payment for dual credit courses. The scholarship webpage has been updated this week. Check it out. Now over to Aiden with the sports. Okay, yeah, like a uh, large pepperoni, no crust or cheese or sauce, actually. Can I just get a bag of pepperoni? It could be for free. That'd be great. Wait, are you serious? Turn on the TV. Now. And that's what I learned. Scissors are bad for your eyes. <laughs> I didn't get any pepperonis. Yes! Live from Seaman High School. It's Friday night! Cyberbullying is a very real thing. Affecting over half of young adults online, it is generally done by bullies called trolls. These trolls will invade your privacy and ruin your social media experience. Here are some ways to prevent that. Set your privacy settings on all accounts. Only accept friends. Trolls are not your friends. Don't release any personal information. Block suspicious accounts. And tell a trusted adult. Use these tips to help keep you safe on social media. Don't get trolled, stay safe online, and stop cyber bullies.
Today's is the last day to order software apparel. You can get forms from the softball webpage, paper copies from Mount Holland, or the front office. Girls varsity and JV soccer, JV soccer debuts today against Shawnee Heights from 4.30 to 6.15. Track has a varsity meet today at Topeka West starting 3.30. Now over to Carson with the weather. Hey Vikes, let's check out the weather. It's currently 68 degrees, tonight it'll be 70. Starting off Friday with some rain, but it'll be in the high 50s and 60s on Saturday and Sunday. Today is Will I Am's birthday and National Kansas Day. Now back to your anchors. There's a new episode of Sagas tonight. Let's see what it's about. Hi, I'm Madison Dean and welcome back to our fourth show of Sagas. This month's theme is love. We'll be talking about certain people's love stories and the love people have for their hobbies. Make sure to go check it out at 7 p.m. tonight. That's all we got, Vikes. We'll see you here after break.